Hello everyone, I'm Aditya Shinoi and I've spent the past 10 years in the publishing industry space in India. Today, I'm going to talk about Publisher Center and how you as a publisher can benefit from it. So what exactly is Google Publisher Center? Google Publisher Center is a free tool to help publishers submit and manage their content in Google News and configure monetization options through Reader Revenue Manager. Publishers can use Publisher Center to submit their website or RSS feed to Google News for review, manage their publications settings such as their theme, description and logo, manage multiple subdomains and regional websites of the same domain, submit news labels to help Google News understand the content on their website better, or set up Reader Revenue Manager to monetize their content through subscriptions. You can also configure a paywall in Google News through the subscribe with Google. Publisher Center is not a CMS and does not host any publisher content. Instead, it enables publishers to submit their content to Google News for review and inclusion in the Google News app that is available on iOS as well as Android. There's also a website for it, news.google.com. Publishers can sign up for a Publisher Center account and create a profile by submitting their website details, such as the URL, the location of the website, and the language it is in. The URL is verified via Google Search Console. Multiple publications can be added to be a part of one organization. Now, this helps Google understand what kind of content your publication is covering. It also has different sections and subdomains. Do mark them appropriately to help Google categorize it and distribute them better. Now, Google also allows you to add logos of your publication, which is shown to readers in the Google News app. Now, have a square logo prepared for your brand. Google recommends it to be 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels in dimension, while the minimum requirement is 512 pixels by 512 pixels. It also requires a rectangular logo in the 10 is to 1 aspect ratio. The ideal size is 400 pixels wide and 40 pixels tall, though the minimum requirement is 200 pixels wide and 20 pixels tall. Once you have set up your publication page, you can proceed with Google News Setup. I'm not saying that you need to sign up on Publisher Center to get onto Google News. Google may also find your website through normal crawl and showcase it on Google News as long as the content aligns with Google's content policies. However, Publisher Center gives a better understanding of your website to Google. You can add a short description of your publication along with the publication category. It has a drop-down menu for you to select options such as news and politics, sports, entertainment, business, and so on. Select the one that closely matches to the content on your website. You can also set how you would want Google to distribute your content. By default, it is set to distribute it worldwide. You can also set distribution to only a few countries or block distribution to a few countries while distributing it to the rest of the world. You also get the ability to block or allow visibility of your content in certain Google products. Now we move to the next step, content settings. Here, you can submit a section of your website to Google News. These sections will appear as tabs under your publication in the Google News app. Sections can be created by using an RSS feed, grouped by topics. You can also add a YouTube channel or a playlist or personalize it completely for your audience. Once these sections are added, you can process it for review. Now in this step, you will be shown if there's any issue with the publication details that you've added. While Google states that it'll take about two to four weeks to review the page, it usually gets wrapped up in a week. In order to increase the chances of your website appearing on Google News, here are some of the key factors you need to pay attention to. So while ranking publications and news, Google looks for prominence, authoritativeness, freshness, and language. Publisher Center also offers labels you can add to your content to help Google categorize it better. This does not affect your website ranking in SERP or on Google News. But if you publish opinion pieces, user-generated content, press releases, or blog posts, adding content labels can help Google classify what is news and what isn't. This option is available under the More Options in Publisher Center. With Publisher Center, you also get another product called Reader Revenue Manager. Now this is only available in a few countries at the moment, so don't be surprised if you don't find this option in your Publisher Center. Reader Revenue Manager is a self-service platform that enables news organizations to deploy a subscriptions or contributions model on their desktop and mobile web pages. 
aimed at small and medium sized news publishers it also includes features such as newsletter sign ups surveys reader registrations to increase reader engagement and retention the best part is that it does not require any coding on the publisher's end the platform allows you to experiment with selling subscriptions by gating some or all content behind a paywall accepting voluntary contributions or collecting first party data from your readers which is becoming increasingly important in a privacy first world reader revenue manager highlights your news coverage across search discover and google news to active subscribers or contributors this is guaranteed to drive traffic to your website thanks to the increased visibility the reader revenue manager is easy to set up and can be implemented in a few days since subscribe with google it is very easy to subscribe converting readers with just two clicks since readers are already signed into their google accounts when they sign up for a newsletter you'll have direct access to their opted in contact information you'll also be able to generate first party audience data that can be viewed in google analytics or passed automatically to google ad manager for improved ads monetization there are no fees to set up a reader revenue manager but google charges a fixed 5% fee that is inclusive of card charges and the publisher gets to pocket the remaining 95% reader revenue manager is currently available in the US Canada Brazil Mexico Argentina Chile Peru Costa Rica and Colombia it is expected to roll out to other countries soon sounds interesting right if you want me to create a detailed video on reader revenue manager drop a comment if i get enough comments i'll do a deep dive into reader revenue manager that was it for this video if you've learned something new do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share this with your publisher friends